Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the MicroStation Connect Edition Visualization Video Series. My name is Steve Rick, Senior Consultant with Bentley Systems, and the topic is Positioning the Sun Graphically. And as you can see, when we come up into the drawing file, we have a nice view of the station. What we're going to do is tell it that we want to position the sun just over the building, right in about this area right here. I'm trying to guess the time of day and to position the sun there is difficult. So we're going to do it graphically. We're going to use three views to do this. The first thing that we want to do is restore view two. Click and drag from the lower left-hand corner to the upper right-hand corner so we can see our three views. And then I'm going to restore the view of Platform 2 here in View 2 so we can actually see that like we did before. We're going to go to the Visualization Workflow, the View tab, and we are going to go to the Save Views dialog box. Double-click on View of Platform 2, and then left-click in View 2, and we should see our View of Platform. We can dismiss the Save Views dialog boxes. We want to go to the Home tab, go to Light Manager, and we want to create a setup for this. Right now, our active setup is evening, and you can see the shadows being cast from evening. It's about 4 p.m. The sun is over off to the right. We want to put it behind the building. So let's create a light setup. That's the second icon up on top. New light setup. And then we're going to name this Position Sun Graphically. What happens when we create a new light setup? It just basically takes the active settings and copies them into a new light setup. And then I can tell it what I want to do from there. We're going to click on the solar and then click on solar position. One of the first things I do is change my date to today's date. You can see that it was at set at 4 p.m., but I want to position it graphically. This command has been in MicroStation for quite a while. It's the little globe that you see up on the top here. It looks like the Earth. Modify time and date graphically. You can see in view two, some lines come up in the sky here. I'm going to show you the compass rose. So here's the compass rose and our sun path right now. The center of the compass rose is this little blue dot here. It might come up over here, or it might come up up here. And what we want to do is move this fairly close to where we're standing. And I think we're standing right about there. That's going to give us our best option as far as placement and what we're going to see here in the sky. The other thing that I want to do is click on the sun, and then I can move that throughout this path. I'm going to try to move it close so I can see the two white lines cross in my view, too. If I'm standing here looking at the building and I want the sun over the top, the sun's got to be over here someplace. Also, when I set it down, you can see that the shadows adjust accordingly to where the sun is right here. Now, once we have it set, then we can tweak it. Then I can grab these lines, just left click on the line, and then I can move them where I want. I want the sun right up in here. I'll click on that line there, move it up to here, just like that. And right where those two white lines cross is where the sun's going to be. Now, I'm going to show you a couple other tricks here, too. Under environment, up on top in the lighting group, we have our atmospheres. Right now, our atmosphere is set to Yosemite. I want you to take a look at the Sun and Clouds tab. Sun size is very, very important. It says 2% sun size. I like to set that down to 1%. Sun Corona is the glow that's around the sun. 30% is pretty good. And visibility of sun. This typical atmosphere doesn't have a lot of clouds in it, so I'm going to be able to see the sun. 0.25 is fine for that. If you put it at zero, the sun disappears from the sky. If you put it at 100, it's going to be 100% in the sky. 
Also, when you're in the atmosphere editor, make sure that you hit the save button because that doesn't automatically get saved, like materials, like light manager, things like that. This one, you actually have to physically hit save. One more nice little trick is that if the path of my son is following isn't going to meet what I need to see here, let's say I need to see this whole path maybe on this side of the compass rose, I can come into Light Manager and I can set my true north direction. Right now it's set at 90 degrees, which is true north. But if I set it at 180, that means I want north to be west. You're going to say that now east is up this way and north is this way. And you can see the complete path of the sun is now in the direction of my line of view. We're going to have to reset what we just did there before. I'm going to change this back to 90 and then reset my sun. And then I'm going to move the lines where I want. Right about there. All we got to do now is render. The rendering is done. You can see the sun up in the sky where the two light lines were crossing. That is a sun size of 1%. I also did another rendering prior to this. I'm just going to show you that one. That is a sun size of 2%. That looked a little bit too big to me, so I went half the size. Thanks for watching. Continue watching the videos. Thanks a lot, everybody. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.